Birth and death are only a game of hide and seek. So smile to me and take my hand and wave goodbye. Tomorrow we shall meet again, or even before. We shall always be meeting again at the true source. Always meeting again on the myriad paths of life. Thich Nhat Hanh. You're listening to The Quieted Mind. Some of you may know that the teacher who introduced me to the Zen practice of mindfulness and has brought me to a greater understanding of the Buddha and his teachings is Thich Nhat Hanh, who passed away just a few weeks ago on January 22nd at the age of 95. The passing of Tai, as his disciples and followers call him, was followed by a week-long observance of ceremonies as his life and teachings were remembered and celebrated in the days leading up to his cremation. The world, and my own life personally, has been forever changed because of Thich Nhat Hanh's influence. I felt, and still feel, honored and privileged that our lifetimes overlapped. Death can bring about all kinds of emotions and thoughts in us. Shock, sadness, anger, sometimes joy, happiness, relief. In the case of Tai, he prepared his students very well for his eventual passing through his teachings on impermanence and how it relates to our concepts of birth and death. This body of mine will disintegrate but my actions will continue me, he taught. In my daily life, I always practice to see my continuation all around me. We don't need to wait until the total dissolution of this body to continue. We continue in every moment. If you think that I am only this body, then you have not truly seen me. When you look at my friends, you see my continuation. When you see someone walking with mindfulness and compassion, you know he is my continuation. I don't see why we have to say, I will die, because I can already see myself in you, in other people, and in future generations. Even when the cloud is not there, it continues as snow or rain. It is impossible for a cloud to die. It can become rain or ice, but it cannot become nothing. The cloud does not need to have a soul in order to continue. There's no beginning and no end. I will never die. There will be a dissolution of this body. That does not mean my death. I will continue always. Thich Nhat Hanh taught us that we live in a universe of no birth and no death, no coming and no going. Birth and death are merely waypoints on the path of beginningless and endless existence, manifestations of the universe based on varying causes and conditions. When a loved one dies, we never truly lose them. We are their continuation. When I finally learned and understood the significance of impermanence, it was life-changing on many levels. I'll talk more about this in a future show, but for now, let's take a moment to breathe and meditate on this one aspect. We were not born out of nothing, and at the end of our lives, we will not pass away into nothing. You and I are a continuation of what has always been and what will always be. Let's meditate together. Find a comfortable and sustainable seating position. Some of you may need to lie down. If now is not a good time for you to sit and meditate, feel free to put me on pause and resume when you have the opportunity to sit quietly for a few minutes. Once you have found a position, close your eyes or maybe open them a tiny crack if you prefer, and then take a few mindful breaths in and out. Breathing in, 
I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. In, out. Breathing in, I know that my physical form as I know it is impermanent. Breathing out, I know that I will continue to manifest in other ways. In, impermanent. Out, manifesting. Breathing in, I am like a cloud floating in the sky. Breathing out, I am the cloud becoming rain, falling to the earth. In, cloud floating. Out, rain falling. Breathing in, I am the water combining with the soil to nourish seeds that have been planted in the ground. Breathing out, I join with the seeds and grow into a tree. In, soil. Out, tree. Breathing in, I manifest as the fruit of the tree. Breathing out, I am plucked from the tree to feed and nourish. In, fruit. Out, feeding and nourishing. Breathing in, I see myself as the universe, continually manifesting in new forms. Breathing out, I understand birth and death are not the beginning or the end. In, I am the universe. Out, no beginning, no end. Thank you for joining me in this meditation. I hope it enriches your practice and expands your consciousness as you meditate on your own or with others, or if you listen back to this session in the future. May you be safe, may you be happy, and may you be free from all suffering.